What is up everyone? Mad Dog here back with another PSO2 video. So you'll probably wonder why I'm on my level 43 hunter. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss complex PAs. So you're probably wondering with all the Scion and successor classes out there, probably wondering, do standard classes really have a punch anymore? You'll be delighted to know, yes. So episode five, Force has got a really good buff with the three spells and of course the other compound techs in episode three but now it's time for all the other classes to kind of reap in that kind of benefit from this so complex pas if you look at the bottom of my screen right here you'll notice this icon right here will be the ins with the sword icon for imperial cleave so not all classes have access to it of course you have to be standard class with select weapons but if you don't have a sword equipped, that icon, like I said, down here, will not be there. So as you can see, Imperial Cleave. So to begin, all you have to do is go to Kofi, scroll down, and there's your permit. So probably, again, I don't know if this quest will be here for unlocking it. I would think so, since it is a serious type of weapon or PA. So just expect this to be here. So pretty much kill these three enemies and you get a stock of three. So complex PAs, there's different types and I will show you. Now for the expansion, you may have this one already. One who stared at the darkness is pretty much solo the extra hard um, profound, I believe. Yes, profound darkness. And you get a stock plus one limit. And then this one will be training traces of darkness. I'm not sure what it'll be called on NA, but you'll have to do it on ultra hard and get this title. So I don't know what this title will be translated, so I'm not sure. But I do know that if you solo the emergency quest for Profound Darkness by yourself, um, I believe you need an S rank and you should have that. So again, I can't remember what the one at NA is. Somebody will find out down below. And if you do that, you're awesome. But yeah, once you do these two, you can get a stock increase of your PA. So without further ado, let's get into the ones that you do get. So to access them, go to your character info and they're right here. So as you can see, their power is very high. <laughs> so they just released the, I think the bow not too long ago. And as you can see, there is this power for a sword, which is 78,495 and your dex modifier and your stocks so of course the more stocks you have the more times you can use it per quest so it's like getting your folks like well yeah your photon blast and your dark blast but you don't get to use it at stock one you have to go from stock one stock two and then stock three and then you'll be able to use it some of these like prominence and sell you're going to get one and then these you get two so you're going to use this move once so once you use it you're done same thing with fatal knockout once you use it you're done promise to sell you get two well you get three and then you're done calamity bullet two and you're done but if you get the extra stock you can get up to two more and then cerulean ballista you get one so you get three shots and then tempest raid two stocks so you get one if you're just at your standard stock so just keep that in mind so it's using three stocks and you start off with three stocks so you're going to want to do those two quests so you can increase your stock so pretty much for sword you have a one hit or quitter save it for the right moment same thing with knuckles save it for the right moment uh rangers you can shoot five times so you can use it once to maybe you know whittle down a boss that you need to get down really quick or just get rid of a long amount of enemies and stuff like that uh, Calamity Bullet, once you get your stock up, you get two. And then Cerulean Ballista, you get five. So if you have your stocks up. And then Tempest Raid, you get two. So yeah, I know it's a little weird. They should put it at six, but that would make Imperial Cleave a little overpowered. And you're about to see how much damage I could do at level 43. And just imagine if you're level 95, really great weapons and stuff like that how much damage you can just obliterate enemies with so with these in mind i'm just going to show you the sword one today because that's the only one i have really prepared as i don't have ranger on this class or gunner 
I may have to switch to my other character to show it because he has all my ranger stuff but this character does have jet boots so I'm going to show jet boots off but I'm going to do it all in one video so I'm just going to show you imperial cleave how it looks now just keep in mind your class gauge like your hunter gauge has no effect on the damage you do um, just attacks has no you know increase in damage that you do just use it just straight up use it don't try to just attack it or anything like that just go for it and with that i'm going to switch over to a quick clip i did i just did keep in mind is nothing fancy like i said i'm level 43 and he just had to die so the damage won't be all impressive but if I had a group of enemies or a boss that would probably would have survived it, and then you can see all the hits that Imperial Cleave will do, then you will know that complex PAs are pretty awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up just this portion of the video. The next part, you'll see me using it really quick. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. Um, feel free to subscribe down at the bottom. It means a lot if you do. Drop a comment and as always leave a thumbs up if I did a good job with the video. So enjoy the Imperial Gleave. Peace.